Hi guys, follow me on Instagram to never ever miss any of my crazy updates. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I am driving this the Hyundai Venue diesel. Now of course I have reviewed the petrol automatic before, the turbo one. And right away, let's open the engine bay. Familiar engine which you have seen in other Hyundai cars as well. Yeah, engine cover is familiar, but this engine is there in the i20. Well, it's actually also there in the Creta as well as the Verna, of course. No insulation here, which is absolutely shocking. Meanwhile, as you can see, in terms of design, yeah, it looks bold at the front, but it looks a bit too bold because you know they've given this treatment wherein the light is actually here. The lights, yeah, this is the projector setup, this is the LED DRL, and this is for the indicator on the top. So yeah, a little bit of a difference, but there's the fog light. And of course, there's a towing hook. The grill is like really big and the car actually looks nice, but no denying the fact that it's actually a very compact vehicle. Meanwhile, it runs on 215, 60, 16 inches. And of course, the tires look really nice as well. So it does look like a mini Creta from certain angles, but there's no denying the fact that this is a very small car. In fact, just look at the length. It is small. It is on the smaller side. And at the rear, there are certain nice elements when you written there. And of course, the lights are also very beautiful. Yup, beautiful lights. This is actually for the reverse parking light along with the reflectors. Of course, no rear fog lamps on this vehicle, but rather in this vehicle. And yeah, everything seems quite bold and nice. Chrome door handles look nice, but there's no request sensor on the other side, which is kind of disappointing. Let's quickly open the boot of this vehicle, which means pressing a button here and there it opens. You obviously get a rear wiper as well as a washer. Boot size is decent, 60-40 split here. And below here, you don't get a full size spare wheel because the tire size is 195-65-15 and that's not an alloy either. So cost cutting, of course, but there's a light placement here. Let's quickly get into the rear bench of the venue. Now, it is not the most spacious when compared to competition. Door pockets are decent sized and here. Yeah. Seat options are there in terms of colors. Let's quickly get inside. You can see there's decent amount of space on offer, decent amount of legroom and knee room. However, under thigh support is not the best. And in terms of overall space, it's not as great as its rivals. Headroom is just about adequate. Although my hair isn't touching, but you know, if I stretch a bit, it will definitely touch. There's a center armrest placed here, but there are only two headrests, no headrests for the center passenger. And because the car is not wide enough, there's no point having a center headrest, although the floor is almost flat. There's a 12 volt charging socket here, although a USB plug would be a nice Edition. let's quickly get to the driver's seat now i've obviously reviewed this car earlier giving you all the details you can click here to see that video okay you have to press this button for the request sensor keys in my hand that's why it is making a lot of noise seats are decently comfortable i would say and you know what is the usb of this car connected car features that's why you can see sos and towing and you know blue link buttons on the inside rear view mirror however this is not auto dimming which is absolutely shocking you get a wireless charger here yeah there the phone starts charging lot of usb options because this car is supposedly made for the millennials and of course there are lights there's a sunroof here as well okay here you can see yeah there's no mirror and there's a mirror here yep overall quality of the car is nice of course it's a hyundai there's a lot of storage space in fact there's plenty of storage space a lot of features automatic headlights and of course this beautiful screen which looks like a floating screen but it's not a floating screen because it's somehow you know slotted right between in the center console but you know what there are so many things here why is the touchscreen not working any idea why is the touchscreen not working you spoiled it didn't you I, yeah i think you have to press it so it's not the most fluid at times but it's still one of the best touchscreens in the market at this price point of course so plenty of things inside this car in terms of features connected car features just work brilliantly well but you cannot turn on this car from the outside or from your home or from your phone because this is a manual only it happens in the automatic which means there's only one automatic which happens to be the petrol automatic with the turbo petrol engine yeah steering is actually kind of small cruise control functions audio controls instrument cluster is also decent there are so many features inside this car seats are also very comfortable let's quickly play an audio right away Audio quality is quite nice and of course the wipers also work brilliantly well. Lot of spray there but you know I just keep looking at this and I'm like this is auto dimming but it's not auto dimming. Yeah that is a glaring omission. A lot of connected car features inside this vehicle and everything feels so nice and premium but everything is very compact. Let's quickly get driving right away. And the first thing we do is turn off traction control, turn off the air conditioning, getting into first gear. Yep, the wheel spin I was talking about is of course there. 
and as you can see performance is nothing to talk home about because this engine has mediocre punch at best and the reason for this mediocre performance is the fact that it uses the 1.4 liter diesel engine from the i20 which produces just 89 horsepower meanwhile torque output is generous at 220 newton meters but if you want to make a quick overtake you have to rev the nuts out of this motor otherwise the car just does not move at all yeah that is the unfortunate part hyundai has been the master in offering the most performance in the segment but with the venue they're offering the least performance in the segment because this is the most underpowered vehicle in the compact suv segment now of course you can also consider now of course you can also consider maruti's vitara brezza which produces similar output numbers but then you have to also remember that the brezza has a proper kick in the pants feel this car doesn't it has low end lag and as soon as the turbo spools in everything is very linear and it ends very short because at three and a half thousand rpm the motor starts to let go and it just doesn't punch hard enough but it still goes all the way till 5000 rpm although it's kind of pointless to pull it till 5000 rpm because there's no progress post three and a half thousand rpm that said i would say there's more than adequate performance for daily driving but out on the highway you would definitely want more from this engine The outright acceleration is very disappointing. In fact, it is two seconds slower than the slowest car in the segment. Yeah, that's right, two seconds slower. It goes from zero to hundred kilometers per hour in almost fifteen seconds. Yeah, there is no point comparing this car with the XUV 300 and even the Ford EcoSport for that matter. In fact, its real comparison is with the Maruti Vitara Brezza because in terms of power output, this diesel engine produces something similar. Now, this is a refined motor, lower down, but becomes quite vocal as you push it hard and fast. Hyundai should have given it a more powerful engine this 1.4 liter diesel engine just does not justify the premium for the car yeah it is priced at a premium when you compare it to the maruti vitara brezza but obviously it offers a lot more features overall ride quality is great although the car is on the stiffer side especially the diesel because of the front end increase in weight and i would say that the body roll is very well contained the steering is absolutely vague doesn't offer much feel or feedback as such but still better than most hyundai steering wheels on offer braking performance is really very nice i mean it is progressive good stop power but every time you hit the brakes hard enough i think someone has break, broken this so this comes out unfortunately so yeah although air purifier is a great touch it is not slotted in properly or someone has broken it so there's good amount of grip from the tires and the clutch is on the lighter side as well the gearbox is very slick shifting top speed of this vehicle will be around 160 km per hour it's a very frugal motor in fact it should return a mileage of around 16 to 17 km per liter which is very respectable obviously ARA mileage is really great too it has traction control which is of not much use because it doesn't have the punch you would expect from a Hyundai car especially after driven the Verna and even the old Gets for that matter and even the Creta all of them feel just so punchy now in the city the ease of driving this car is something which is a big bone it is light the steering is of course light the car is compact so easy to park easy to maneuver and the connected car features really make it stand out in the segment as well that said hyundai should have offered a more powerful diesel engine or at least should have offered a diesel automatic because right now maruti does it and mahindra is also doing the same with the xuv 300 compared to both the vehicles the venue definitely tries to differentiate itself with the technology features quality and of course hyundai's frugal powertrain as well that said you're better off getting the petrol not the 1.2 liter petrol please do not go for that opt for the dct opt for the turbo petrol the gdi motor yes a petrol automatic makes the best sense in buying a venue but if you want fun to drive factor then you are better off opting for the petrol manual the turbo petrol manual of course the 1.2 liter petrol again like the diesel doesn't offer much oomph in the venue hyundai offers the venue in five diesel variants priced from 9.33 lakhs for the base variant to rupees 13 lakhs for the variant i am driving yes it is on the expensive side but you know it doesn't offer much performance although it offers a lot of everything making it a good all-rounder and it gets a six-speed gearbox as well which is again a nice touch in car acceleration isn't that great you really have to keep the engine in the meat of the power band to get going quickly and when you do that of course you are going to consume a lot more fuel than the official claim mileage of this vehicle so if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up that's a like button and also subscribe to the channel i will see you guys in the next video real soon bye bye